Tuesday, the 11th of July, will be remembered as the day Stuart Jew was sacked by the Gold Coast Suns. It was reported only a week earlier by Caroline Wilson that Jew's time at the Suns was running out. Sympathy surrounded his departure, and personally, it always looked like Jew was building together with his young core, and for it to be abruptly ended was disappointing. Jew came into the Suns at a crucial inroad. They finished 2017 second last and were once again at the floor of the competition. It was time to refresh the squad and begin a new journey on from Rodney Eade's three seasons. The 2017, 18 and 19 drafts were the players picked to embark with Jew to not only play finals but create a stable football club that could develop and keep talent. To name a few, Will Powell, Charlie Ballard, Sam Collins, Jack Lacocious, Ben King, Matt Rao and Noah Anderson have spent their whole careers believing in Stuart Jew and the Suns. The truth is Jew had been under pressure from 2021 onwards and with Alistair Clarkson, Brad Scott and Ross Lyon all rumoured to be returning to coaching during this one or two year period of time, Jew had the heat on him. But the support of his players never wavered. The board and CEO prioritised lack of progress as the main factor that caused Jew's contract termination. That's harsh looking at Jew's finishes over time. It started with four wins in 2018, three in 2019, five and a draw in 2020, seven in 2021, 10 in 2022, and as of Jew's sacking, they sit seven and nine and will most likely equal or better the 10 wins in the previous season. If you put it on a graph, it looks like improvement to me. The club has come out and said it wanted to play finals and some media outlets have followed similar expectations. The reality is about 14 of the 18 clubs expect this and say this every year, so someone does have to miss out. It's unlucky for Jew, they also played Collingwood and Port in back-to-back -back games. Did anyone really think they would beat the top two teams in the AFL? Collingwood mauled Port Adelaide in round two in a similar way they did to Stewie's sons and the Power are on a historic winning run of their own. This was only weeks after the Suns had two fantastic wins against the Crows and Bulldogs, both teams around their latter position. Stuart Jew and his lack of luck has also seemed to dissipate from thin air. It starts from his arrival when the list management traded pick two for Lockie Weller. It was bizarre at the time and is baffling now. Weller has been pretty good, but Andrew Brayshaw was picked at two and has already been All-Australian and won an AFLPA MVP. He would be handy in this Suns midfield. Matt Rowe missed most of his first and second years to injury, holding his development, and Ruckman Jared Witts also missed in 2021. He survived the whole of last season without Ben King, his young key forward of the future, and a forward line of Levi Kasbolt and Marbio Chol were the leading forces of their attack. And once again, Isaac Rankin was another Gold Coast star that left and throw that in with Took Miller injuring his knee in round six. It means Jew has been fighting all types of misfortune. They even had to trade pick seven and Jack Bowes to Geelong for a third round pick to fix up the salary cap. It's hard to find another senior coach who's had to deal with all this mess. Pairing this with intense media pressure and a seemingly never ending amount of experienced coaches out of work I guess this was always going to be Stuart Jew's fate. The group between 2017 and 2020 are about to enter their peak years and it wouldn't surprise me if the Suns broke through to finals next year. And it's most likely going to be Damien Hardwick, a good friend of Jew's, that takes command. The linear improvement shows the Suns are heading forward and it would be symbolic of Jew's time for another coach to come in at the time when the young stars are finally ready to become senior, hardened AFL players. Jew has departed into his sixth season as coach, but it's ironic that only a year beyond this point, Damien Hardwick was in a similar position. But his fortune was far greater than Jew's. He survived and went on to win a flag the next year, one of three he would lead the Tigers to. We will never know what would have happened if Jew's journey had continued from this point. It's highly possible he isn't a great senior coach, but with the clear investment from the players and his forward-thinking attitude, part of me would be shattered if the Suns became a power side next year and Jew was simply forgotten for the critical five seasons he was there 
and was invested. Stuart Jew and the path he was on with the Suns has been closed for good. It's the harsh reality of the results industry, which is the AFL. Hopefully the next senior coach of the Suns, seemingly pointing to Damien Hardwick, can finally breathe life into the Gold Coast and get them to finals. And if this group ever wins a premiership, you would hope that the efforts of Stuart Jew will be remembered and admired in the club's history.